All right, so today I'm in the spare bedroom of the house that I'm remodeling and I'm fixing this terrible paint job. I don't know how well the camera's picking this up, but there's a lot of patches that were filled and never sanded. There's a lot of foreign debris in the paint that was just rolled into the paint, dirt, lint, things like that. And there's also a lot of paint drips. Up here is a couple paint drips that are kind of faint. Over here in this back wall, there was a lot of paint drips until I sanded them out. And that brings me to the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do to fix the paint job is you're gonna to wanna to sand the walls down. So if your walls have been painted like mine here and not just primed, you're gonna to wanna to go get a power sander. So here's the power sander that I used to sand all the walls down. It's called a Power Pro 2100. I got it off of Amazon for about $150 and I will put a link down in the video description if you're interested. You're really gonna want one of these if the wall that you're trying to sand has been painted because paint is not very sandable, unlike primer. If you have fresh new drywall that's just been primed, it's very easy to sand with just a pole sander. But when you have a lot of drips on your wall and things like I'm dealing with, the power sander is really the only way to go. If I had to go around with a pole sander, I would never be able to get all this off. It would take me forever. Right now I have 60 grit sandpaper and I have the speed turned all the way up and I'm able to sand about this much wall in five minutes. And when I mean sand, I mean it's sanded really smooth. There's no bumps, no paint drips, nothing. It cuts right through everything. And if you do this, you're drastically gonna reduce the amount of time that you have in this whole project. All right, so I have the whole room power sanded. And the walls came out nice and smooth. The next I'm gonna go around and fill all the obvious holes. All right, so my spackle's dried, so now I'm gonna sand it all off. All right, so now I'm gonna go around the room with a broom and sweep the walls to knock anything off that might be loose. Like dust, there's a lot of dust from the power sander. All right, here's one last look at the room before I prime. You can see I went around and filled some pretty good sized holes. Got a lot of drips off with the power sander. There's another good sized drip. And it's perfectly smooth to the touch. That power sander really helps. Without it, this job would have taken me hours and I got done in probably, a, I would say a half hour. Uh, I was able to sand the whole room and I was able to get it nice and flat where it's a nice prepped surface to uh, accept your paint job. All right, let's hit it with some primer. All right, so the walls are all primed and it's dry. I used a sprayer, but you don't have to use a sprayer. You can just use a roller. The reason I used a sprayer is because I was priming the whole house anyway, and it's faster. So after it's dry, what I like to do is uh, take some painter's caulk and go around all the corners and along the ceiling because it makes a nice smooth transition. All right, I'm all done caulking the corners. As you can see, there's a nice smooth corner and it's gonna be really easy to cut in with a brush when I paint the wall. And it also makes it look really nice. So now I'm gonna paint the ceiling just because this room needs it and I'm gonna use a sprayer for that as well. It's because I have it out, but you could also roll it. And there we have it. We got the ceiling all painted and the walls primed. So all that's left to do is to fill a few spots here and there with some spackle, nothing major. 
So when you're looking for holes to fill and spots to sand, something that I like to do is get a very bright light like this, hold it sideways against the wall, and it casts a shadow on any imperfection and makes it really easy to spot. So I need to fill a little right here, a little right there, a little right there. And you just kind of go down the wall and look for anything that needs fixed. And once that dries, hit all the walls again with a pole sander or the power sander using a very fine grit sandpaper. And I don't know how well the camera picks this up, but this wall is super smooth. There's no drips that I could see anywhere and there's no foreign debris or dirt in the paint at all. So uh, this last sanding should be very easy and should go very quick. And then after that, you're ready to paint the wall the color of your choice and you're all done. So if you found this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.